you know we need it. We're way behind, mm -hmm. and uh, you might get a little tomorrow. Can mm -hmm. we get it out of the way before the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not have it come back for the weekend? Oh, oh no, I can't arrange that, I'm afraid. In uh -oh. fact, the better chance of rain looks like the weekend. Mm -hmm. Let's check our golf forecast first, and you can see where the rain is now. On the left side of your picture, northwest Georgia. But as you zoom into Hutchinson Island for the legends of golf, tomorrow will be dry to start, but later in the day, after the 60s, up to 78, and a 40% chance of late-day showers and thunderstorms. So be prepared for rain later in the day as this finally gets a chance to push in our general direction, hopefully bringing us some showers. We'd like to see that. We don't want to see any of the severe weather. Look at the hail reports across North Georgia back into Alabama. No severe weather is expected for tomorrow, but we could see some significant rain, especially for our inland and northern counties. By the time this is done into Thursday, looks like just about a half an inch of rain max for here in the Savannah area, but outlying areas much more. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning. Here's where the storms are crossing Georgia into the Carolinas. By 5 o'clock, there's a shower trying to work its way through Augusta back into the Savannah area. Let's see if we can get some of that activity. And into the evening, there's more showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, another chance of showers expected. Most of it are southern counties. Then later in the day, Friday, just a 20% chance. But notice all the precipitation that just kind of hangs around here. This front never clears, and here comes the next system. So Saturday may be the better chance of showers and storms. We're most the cloudy now 69 degrees 88 percent the relative humidity our winds are light pressure high 83 was the high today of course our 69 now 62 back in the rain atlanta 60 or 54 behind the front nashville so some cooler air is going to try to come this way but check our lows tonight 65 tybee port wentworth at 63 georgetown at 64 for overnight lows tonight sea pines at 65 rose hill 63 buford 64 hardyville 63 degrees so we're not going to cool much and then we're going to warm just a little bit, just a little above average, Friday being the warmest day, up to 80 degrees. Here's our front. Hello, where have you been? Showers expected during the day, late in the day tomorrow, but watch this area of low pressure that develops, and it stays just offshore, keeping us in the clouds during the day on Friday into Friday afternoon. We'll watch how that plays out, but we'll be mild and quiet for tonight. Don't worry about anything this evening. 64 should be the overnight low. Then tomorrow starts with some hazy sunshine later storms likely late in the day up to a 40 percent chance southeast breeze and 78 should be the afternoon high 61 tomorrow night 30 percent chance of showers with mostly cloudy skies on thursday 20 percent chance of showers more partly cloudy on friday there's saturday sunday and it's late in the day saturday if you've got morning activities you should be in pretty good shape let's fine tune that forecast as we get closer and closer because there's some big events coming up this weekend not only the coleman race for the cure telfair square first thing saturday morning but the legends round two round three saturday and sunday lots going on hopefully everything will work out whatever you got planned for tomorrow follow us on twitter at big john weather and have a great day tomorrow thanks john sure